Welcome back, Sparkies. How many of you have brothers or sisters? How many of you have ever had your brother or sister do something mean to you? How many of you have done something mean to your brother or sister? Mm -hmm. Sometimes brothers and sisters hit each other or mess with each other's stuff or blame each other for starting an argument. Being mean to your brothers and sisters isn't a good thing to do. But we all disobey God and make wrong choices. We learned that Joseph had a bunch of older brothers who were mean to him. Joseph was his dad's favorite son. His brothers hated him. And because they hated him, they sold him to some travelers as a slave. Even though Joseph's brothers treated him meanly, the Lord was with Joseph. Joseph had an interesting life and ended up doing a good thing for Pharaoh, who was king. The Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of the land in Egypt. Joseph was the boss of Egypt's food. For seven years, Egypt had a lot of rain and had good crops. Joseph wisely stored the food because he knew bad times were coming. Sure enough, for seven years, Egypt had a famine. And that's when there's no rain, so the crops can't grow. But because Joseph had wisely stored the food, the Egyptians had enough to eat. God helped Joseph do what was right. Joseph's brothers ran out of food, and their dad sent them to Egypt to get some more. Joseph's brothers bowed down to Joseph, begging for something to eat. Joseph recognized his brothers, but his brothers had no idea that he was alive, much less in charge of Egypt's food. Joseph wanted to see if they remembered him or if they were sorry for what they had done. He didn't tell them who he was right away. He sent them back home with some food. He put some money and valuable things in one of their bags of food and made it look like they stole from him. He wasn't doing it to be mean. He was doing it to give them a chance to or some time to admit that they what they had done to their younger brother and show that they were sorry. The oldest brother admitted to Joseph that they had lost one bro brother, Joseph, and they didn't want to lose any more. That was good enough for Joseph. I'm going to read Genesis 45, 4 and 5. So Joseph said to his brothers, Come near to me, please. And they came near, and he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold to Egypt. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves, because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. Joseph told them he was their brother, the one that they had sold into slavery. How do you think they felt when they found out that they were talking to their long-lost brother? They were afraid. What would he do to them? Would he be mean to them because they threw him into the pit and sold him into slavery? They didn't know what to do. Would Joseph be as mean to them as they were to him? Some people would have gotten back at their brothers. Joseph could have made his brothers his slaves. He could have had them killed or let them starve. He could have made them do some hard work before he gave them food. When people get back at someone who did something mean to them, we call that revenge. And the Bible tells us to forgive people. Jesus said that if someone hits you on the cheek, Instead of hitting them back, we should turn our head and let them hit the other cheek if they want to. You have a choice. When someone does something mean to you, you can get revenge. Or you can forgive that person and be kind. Usually we rather get revenge than forgive. Revenge is easy. Forgiveness isn't easy. Joseph could have refused to give his brothers food. After all, they weren't very kind to him, but instead, he chose to show forgiveness. We've all done mean things to other people. We've all made mistakes. We've all sinned. Aren't you glad that God sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to earth to die on the cross to forgive us of our sins? 
We could have chosen to get revenge on, he could have chosen to get revenge on us. But because he loves us, he forgives us. All we need to do is understand that we've done wrong and that we need a savior. God shows forgiveness to us, and so we should show it to others. When we forgive others, we show them God's love. We, were, we are all sinners. God is holy. He does not sin. He cannot sin. Whenever we try to get revenge on someone, we are sinning. God doesn't like sin. Sin separates us and keeps us apart from God. But God loves us and doesn't want us to be separated from him. That's why he sent his only son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to come to earth. The Lord Jesus died for our sins. Then three days later, he came alive again, and he is now in heaven, preparing a place for those who have trusted Christ as Savior. Maybe some of, some of you have already trusted Christ as your Savior. Your sins are forgiven. That's great. Now it's up to you to show other people how much God loved them, too. A good way to do that is to forgive people when they do mean things to us. Have fun doing your beat the code activity. I always like doing this, these kind of puzzles. I'll see you next time.